Hey, what's up, universe? It is 1.55 a.m. on technically, I guess it's uh, Sunday, July 16th. Yes, right? Yes, yes, correct, yes. Sunday, July 16th, 2023. <laughs> um, so this is going to be a nerd out video uh, real quick because there's been some cool things that I've been playing with today. Uh, I've been working on the transcriptions for uh, my YouTube videos and my Instagram videos and almost complete with those. Um, the the things I've been, that's just kind of practical, the things that are nerdy that I've been messing with are that uh, on Medium, there is a guy that uh, has written a couple of articles that I follow. Um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce his name. He writes about artificial intelligence um, and Python programming and is really geared towards um, running these large language models, these LLMs, right? That's basically what ChatGPT is um, locally on your own hardware uh, and with a focus really to, to um, democratize the technology, bring it local to your system and then not have to pay for uh, any services. This includes um, his his article uh, that I worked with today was how to create a local like chatbot similar to to ChatGPT. Uh, now, obviously, it's it's got its limitations, uh, but there's a web interface. Uh, I did speak about. I did mention the um, what was that one? GPT for all. Also, a really cool uh, piece of software, and that. GPT for all will use your local, can use your local documents uh, as well. I, I shouldn't say as well because this article that I read and went through doesn't use your local documents. Um, although I, it's this article that he wrote is at first in a series, and I believe that maybe in the future that'll come. Uh, but it was an interesting thing because it is this. Um, it is kind of like the GPT for all, uh, but it uses a different, it's just a different way of kind of doing roughly the same kind of thing. Uh, so that was fun to, to play with and pretty quick and easy. Uh, I say that to get set up. I say that cause I have the background to be able to do that. Um, the cool thing, the coolest thing though, that I was messing with just recently, uh, and this took some setup, but once I got it set up, things are good. When I say set up, you got to set up like your computer environment. You have to download and install like, again, kind of like the dependency hell that I spoke about before. So I had to go through some of that. Anyway, the, there's these, uh, um, transcription models out there, right? Like I spoke about assembly AI, deep gram is the other company that I was trying to think of the other day. Uh, and then there's a uh, whisper, which is open AI, uh, which is the same people that do chat GPT. They have uh, a transcription model as well called whisper. Now you can download the whisper model and run it locally. And there, and that, I didn't realize that. And there's a, uh, I ran into some code and then also a windows binary, which means I just download, just download this executable and I'm able to run it and have it transcribe my audio. And I tested this out and the accuracy is is pretty good. The punctuation is pretty good. It doesn't provide me all the information that Assembly AI does. Like it doesn't give me the, um, uh, you know, the topics, so to speak. It doesn't do um, like summarization. It doesn't do some of these other things straight transcription though, like giving me the raw text, giving me timestamps, like breaking the, like the words out per like, like the timestamp for the word. Um, just, there's a lot of data still that this thing provides me and it's free and I'm able to transcribe at roughly, you know, five to six seconds of audio per second. So that's, that's pretty good. I can just let this thing run all night and it can transcribe and save all of that data to output files. Um, so that's really cool to, um, uh, to know because for two reasons, one, 
I have a lot of audio journals that I haven't transcribed and I was always, you know, they're personal, right? And so I was like, ah, I don't necessarily like, I don't enjoy sending that information to a third party. Now, if I just want the raw text, um, I can do that, I'm, I'm able to do that locally. And so I'm like, really excited about that. Um, that's just really, that's just really cool. I don't know what all that means yet, but it is super awesome. I mean, the first thing is it's like, well, that saves me hundreds of dollars. You know what I mean? Now, oh man, I'm just thinking like now I can go back to doing my audio journals and recording myself every single day. And oh, I need to do some math and figure out calculation on like transcription times. There's also tools available for the using Whisper that uh, will only transcribe the parts of the file that have actual words. Now, I don't know how that impacts like the timestamps. What I mean by that is that there's, there's a lot of time in my audio journals where there's just like dead space. There's no audio to transcribe, you know, it's just background noise or silence or whatever. Um, so it's something to play with. Uh, so that's just really cool. And then, um, let's see, speaking of deep gram, they do have a position open, uh, that I was kind of looking at. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. The other cool thing about deep gram that I really enjoyed is that it's not just an API, like where you can programmatically send your information and it sent and it returns something back, you know, like with assembly AI, I upload my MP3. I do this all programmatically. I upload my MP3 and it returns back this huge JSON payload. Um, and then that's my data. With DeepGram, they have that. That's basically transcription as a service. DeepGram also offers um, on-premises. So meaning you can take their model and run it locally on your own hardware. Now, they don't just give you that model. Like you've got to pay for it. It's an enterprise level thing. Um, they recommend running it in Amazon AWS because there's a lot more compute, uh, computational resources that are available. But I'm thinking like just for myself, that might be, it's just kind of a cool idea. It's a nice offering to be able to, for a company to be able to say, Hey, you can use our AI model locally. Um, on like on premises because there's again, privacy concerns and there's companies out there where that would be a thing, all this. So, uh, it's anyway, that's just kind of a side note completely unrelated. I'm just going off on a tangent here. I've been looking at, this is astrologically related. I've been looking at basically technically today, the 16th and 17th of July. Uh, I don't know anything specifically what for, but there's a timing technique um, that's real easy for me to do. It doesn't, it doesn't require any software. I just have to look at my chart and just kind of think about it for a second. Um, and so the 16th and 17th. And I've been looking at that for a couple of days now. I just wanted to put it out in a video so that it is like kind of documented. Um, I don't necessarily have anything specific that I'm going to speak to that I'm looking for because I'm not necessarily looking for anything other than I'm just like, I'm curious about these days. That's all I'm going to say. I'm curious about those days. No, the 16th and 17th. All right. I think that's really about it. Uh, I'm just really excited about this transcription stuff because that's a huge, that's a huge thing. That's awesome. All right. Oh, did I mention it's Fast Whisper is the project name for the local transcriptions. Um, and there's a Windows like binary. I messed around with the code and then I was kept reading on the page after I, after I got the code to work in Python, they're like, oh, here's a Windows executable. And I'm like, ah, like that would have made life a lot easier. I could have saved some time, whatever. It's okay. It's all part of the journey. And honestly, let's be serious. I like to play around, like to tinker. So, all right. Thank you for the time and the space and for uh, being here for me and our relationship and giving me some uh, attention. All right. I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.